NGCDF is not a fund for members of parliament. NGCDF money is public money raised from Kenyan taxpayers for the benefit of Kenyan taxpayers. And I must repeat in the words of the leader of minority, in the interest especially of our hustler children who are awaiting for bursaries to, to, to be able to access what is a right to them under our constitution. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I cannot agree more with the leader of minority that NGCDF is a matter that ought to be treated with special attention. Yes. And Honorable Speaker, as much as we all understand we are living in difficult times, part of the elevation of that, the challenges that are there with the economy is to ensure that those who are not able to access school in January without, especially those children who just finished KCPE, they are able to access NGCDF bursaries, they are able to access GAF bursaries for them to be able to report to school. To Honorable Speaker, I know there are also challenges with other emoluments under Parliament because NGCDF members must also be cognizant that that does not fall under Parliament. It falls under the Ministry of Planning or the State Department of Planning. But there are also other challenges that relate to staff who are working in constituency offices who now fall under parliament. Honorable Speaker, it would be extremely unfair for members of parliament to earn their salaries. They have means and ways to enjoy their Christmas break but the staff who are working in their constituency offices basically have no Christmas. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, we have taken this matter up with the National Treasury to deal with the, issue, the twin issues of money that should be disbursed to Parliament and money that should be disbursed to the State Department for Planning so that Honorable Speaker, I was waiting for the member for Budalangi to finish with his very loud advisory to the member for Madera. <laughs> now that this is done, I am sure he, he, I have his attention. That on NGCDF, we cannot afford to compromise, not for the benefit of members of parliament. And we must never make it look to the world like members of parliament have an interest in NGCDF. We only have the interest of the people who sent us here to represent them, not NGCDF. We actually would not care whether there is NGCDF or not if they made sure that Basari money was in the, with the people that we represent. We would not care. It is our work to resolve issues that are of concern to the people of Kenya and the people that we represent. Therefore, what the leader of minority is raising is on behalf of the 290 of us yes. who are charged with the responsibility of resolving issues that are of concern to the people. And there is no issue now that is of greater concern to the people than them getting access to education for their children come January. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I have already engaged with the Cabinet Secretary in charge of the National Treasury and the State Department of Planning and the NGCDF uh, board, uh, the, the, the NGCDF uh, CEO. Uh, unfortunately, uh, here the uh, <laughs> deputy whip saying and GAF, I have not engaged with GAF, but since it also falls under the same state department, they have indicated that they are actually in the process of working on disbursement so that by the time we break, Now, honorable members, order, honorable members. Order, honorable.
honorable members, the point is being made. Yes, uh, honorable, honorable speaker. members, proceed, majority leader. No, honorable speaker. Honorable members, the matter is uncontested. Everyone is in agreement. So just allow the majority leader to complete his statement. You know, honorable speaker. Honourable, honourable speaker, if if uh, if members can allow me to finish, because as as the speaker has indicated, this matter is not contested by anybody, not even the leader of majority. That is why I took the liberty even before the matter was raised before the house, because you all forget that I represent the people of Kikuyu first and foremost. I don't, I, and I have said it numerously. I don't sit here to represent, I don't represent government. I don't, neither do I represent the cabinet secretary for the national treasury. I don't work for them. I work for the people of Kikuyu. And when it comes to, when it comes to an issue, when, when, when it comes to an issue where there is conflict, when an issue comes where there is conflict between a cabinet secretary, a principal secretary, a chair of a board, or even the CDF CEO, and the people of Kikuyu, the people of Kikuyu take greater precedence than anyone else. That is why I'm pleading with you, you allow me to finish, because what, what was I saying in conclusion? We, I have already engaged with the cabinet secretary telling the cabinet secretary precisely that. That there is now a situation where there is a conflict of interest between his work as a cabinet secretary and the principal secretary in charge of the national treasury, the director general in charge of accounting services who is in charge of disbursing money, the principal secretary in charge of national planning, the CDF CEO, and the people of Kikuyu. And I indicated to the cabinet secretary that by Thursday we... Listen. As the leader of minority said, without anticipating debate, without doing what? Without anticipating debate. Honorable Speaker, again without anticipating debate, Members will note that the House Business Committee had slotted in a morning sitting on Thursday. And I indicated to the Cabinet Secretary that this House cannot proceed to go on recess on Thursday without clarity as to the exact date, time, when the money not will be disbursed will hit your NGCDF accounts at the constituency level. Lastly, Honorable Speaker, more and more important, Honorable Speaker, and I beg for members to listen, and it's easier to listen, Honorable Makilap, than shout from behind me. It is easier to lend me your ears and ask the Speaker, that is what happens in the August House. You don't shout from your seat, you request the Speaker to give you the mic, and you say what you want to say. More important, the Honourable Speaker, the, the NGCDF CEO has indicated to me that they are, and the chair of the NGCDF committee can confirm we must act with equity.